Instead of limiting the access to the voter registration database, as federal law appears to prohibit, we are instead making it a misdemeanor to alter or misuse the contents of the database. The Secretary of State and two of his or her designees may access the database but may not make changes to it without approval from the State Board of Elections. So while we appreciate the change in the bill, um, I think there seems perhaps to have been a misunderstanding from reports in the paper uh, on uh, accessing the database um, from which I have used it for. Uh, and yes, I have accessed it, but it has not been a misuse of the data. I have merely responded to inquiries, whether it be by phone, whether it be in person, uh, or an email to individuals calling and requiring information that if they're in the capital today, they can get it. If they are uh, 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 at the clerk's office, they can get it at the clerk's office. So for there to have been um, a, a legis, allegedly that I misused the database in the Secretary of State's office, that is not true. Uh, we've been contemplative and thoughtful in our process from where I originally pre-filed this bill. Uh, it is considerably changed. The previous bill would not have allowed Secretary of State access to the database. That appears to be not permitted by federal law. Instead, we're making it a misdemeanor to alter or misuse the contents of the database. Everything else, all the other provisions that were in the original Senate Bill 34 are retained here in the committee substitute, and I would ask for your support.